Okay, so what we have here is a submarine which is at depth of 100 meters below the sea level and the crew inside the submarine is trying to get out of the submarine through a hatch over here which measures 1.2 meters by 0.6 meters. So the question is what force does the crew inside the submarine you need to put on the hatch that is it needs to push this hatch up to open it so what is that force required to push this hatch open so how we'll approach the problem is we'll find what is the pressure on the hatch from the top so we'll try to find what is this pressure and we also know that there is pressure from inside the submarine acting on the hatch and the difference of the pressure would actually give the net pressure on the hatch from the top. So, well, we know what is the pressure acting on the hatch from the top. That is, let us say this is P1 and this pressure from below is, let us say, P dash. Well, we can say P1 is the sum of the atmospheric pressure from top, which is P0 and the pressure due to this water column acting on the hatch. So P1 is equal to P0 plus the pressure due to the water column rho GH where H would actually be 100 meters. And we also know that P dash is nothing but the atmospheric pressure acting from inside. So the net pressure on the submarine we can say is equal to pressure 1 acting from top minus P dash the pressure acting from inside of the submarine. So the net pressure and let's call it Pn is equal to P0 plus rho GH minus P0 and what you get is that the net pressure equals rho GH and therefore if the net pressure from top that is Let's now label this as the net pressure from the top on the submarine is Pn. Then we can say that the force required to counter this pressure would equal to Pn into the area. So the force required is equal to rho GH into area of the hatch. And if fine, put the density of seawater as 1.024 into 10 to the power 3 meter cube into 9.8 into the height is 100 meters and the area of the hatch is 1.2 into 0 0.6 meters. What you get is this force equals 7.2 into 10 to the power 5 Newtons. So I'll just summarize exactly what we've done. So we know that the pressure on the hatch from the top is on account of the atmospheric pressure and the pressure due to the water column above it. And then we have pressure acting on the hatch from inside, which is P dash, which is nothing but P naught. So the net pressure is the pressure from outside minus the pressure from inside. And once we find the net pressure, then the force required to counter that pressure is equal to that net pressure into the area of the hatch and that comes out to 7.2 into 10 to the power 5 newtons. So the crew inside would have to put a force of 7.2 into 10 to the power 5 newtons to make the hatch open. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos.